Nicolas Osuna lives in this small tent in a campground near Zurich. He's from the south of Spain, and he has been camping here for over a month. He didn't come on holiday, but to look for work. In Spain, I had a construction firm, but I had to shut down because there wasn't any work. The social welfare ran out. But I've got a wife and two children in school. That's why I'm here, to support them. It's tough to live like this, with no roof over your head, away from your family. I'm all alone, I don't have a home, and it's getting cold. I miss many things. Nicholas has got a contract and is working as a mason on a construction site. He hopes things will improve and would like to stay for his children. I'm here for my children. I want them to have a good life in Spain. In the same campground, Nicholas has met another Spaniard, Victor Fernandez, who left the Basque country with his wife Rosinette and their son Alejandro, who suffers from a mild form of autism. They spent a month camping here, but now they've moved into a small room. For me it wasn't hard, but for my wife and son it was horrible. We slept on the floor, in a small tent. It was rainy and cold, and my son started to get sick. They shared some of the hard moments with their tent neighbors, another family from Spain. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I had been teaching in a technical school, but my contract wasn't renewed. I did a bit of everything, painted walls for my father's construction firm, but the crisis in Spain is serious. His first goal was to find some work, before their savings were gone. I met someone who asked me to work on a construction site. They take advantage of you. I don't have a contract and I make 350 francs a week. It isn't much, but it's better than nothing and I keep busy. 